Hey guys, in this one, I want to go through editing video in iMovie on your smartphone. And I'm gonna keep this tutorial simply to the way you can edit, cut, and change video clips in iMovie and nothing else. So as you can see, I have a project in iMovie that I'm going to edit. So I click on my movie and I click on edit and I can get in there and edit the clip. If you want to edit the video that you've put into iMovie, you first have to select it. So you can press anywhere on the clip itself. And as you can see, it will highlight itself in yellow. The first way that you can edit a video clip in iMovie is by selecting the start and end point. And as you can see, the start point is highlighted with a thicker bit of yellow. And if I scroll down to the very end, the end is thicker as well. That means that I can actually touch and drag that portion to edit where it stops. So obviously on the left is the start of the clip and towards the right is the end of the clip. If I highlight the clip and then this yellow bit, I can basically hold it down and drag it to the right, which means that the end point is being edited so that you're cutting off everything off to the left of it. You can drag this left and right. And as you can see, it also drags around the uh, clip at the top as well. So you can see exactly um, where it is that you're dragging it to. So if you scroll all the way to the left, you're not cutting anything off. And if you scroll to the right, then you are just making the clip shorter and cutting off everything to the left. So my clip is 10.9 seconds long, but if I drag this to about here, then you can see now the clip is only 6.2 seconds long. I don't want to edit the end point or the start point, so I'm just gonna drag them all both to the right and to the left to make the clip just as long as I first initially recorded it for. So that's the in and out points as they are called. And as you can see, when you highlight the clip, everything at the bottom essentially tells you what it can do for you. So the split option, if you press it, literally just splits the clip. So it cuts it in two. And why would you want to do this? Well, as you can see, it creates two new clips that you can highlight. So essentially, if this part you want to keep on the left, but on the right, maybe you want to cut that and actually change the start point, then you can do so by dragging and you change that start point. And that creates essentially two clips with the bit in the middle that's actually been deleted. So if I play this now, you can see that the bit in the middle has actually been cut out. If you don't want that to happen or you just want to basically correct it, you can press undo in the right here as, as many times as you want and you can go back to where you were working it. So all of those options that you changed will just be deleted or undone. So that is split. As you can see, each time you press split, it will just split the clip for you and it will make as many splits as you want. And if you don't want to do that, you can press undo and it all goes back to the way it was. Detach is actually the way that you detach the audio from the clip. So I'm sure when you recorded the clip on your iPhone, it will record the audio and the video. It's actually two separate tracks. And sometimes you don't want the audio there. You want to delete it or you want it just off the track. And so that is what happens. So if you press undo, then the audio will go back on there. Duplicate is obviously quite self-explanatory. If you press it, then it will copy and paste an exact copy of the thing that you've just highlighted and wanted to duplicate. So I now have two exactly the same clips here of the one that I actually uploaded in the first place. I don't want that to happen, so I can press undo again. Delete just will delete absolutely everything that you have highlighted at that time. Down at the bottom, there are some more options. So as you can see, we are on the scissors option right now, which is actually split. So if you press it, nothing happens, but if you press split, then it will split up itself. Undo that, highlight the timeline again, and the essentially the speedometer here means that you can speed up time and slow down time. So you can actually make the clip longer or shorter. So maybe if I slow the clip down by dragging, you can see everything just moves slower. So they play the frames at a slower rate. And if you highlight again, and I go all the way to essentially two times speed, then it's just like fast forwarding two times and everything is played at a quicker rate. If I undo all of that all the time, it goes just back to the normal rate. The audio option you can change so you don't have to detach the audio to delete it. Maybe you just want to turn it down or change it. You can do that here. And the text right here, you can add 
text and for example subtitles that would what they would be on here as well so there are different options that you can use by scrolling left and right as you can see that is there if you want to change the text select the type of title that you want and actually click on the text on the screen the keyboard will come up then you can just uh, put in what you want and when once you're done just press done and that will come up on the screen like that there are different options that you can play around with and they do change as well in terms of if you want to do subtitles you can obviously um, cut the clips in half like this and then change the way that the titles are played on the screen so as you can see there's no titles here now but you could add more uh, for example subtitles but that is a quick tutorial on how to actually edit and manipulate the videos that you've got within your iMovie timeline i hope it was helpful if it was please subscribe for more tutorials like this and i'll see you in the next one